What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at an anime game called Tales of Wind. I have no idea what kind of game it is. I know someone recommended it to me on uh, Twitter. I'm pretty sure someone recommended it to me on YouTube as well. It looks adorable from what I can see. Uh, yeah, let's, let's jump in and see what kind of game it is. Okay, so uh, looks like we got four classes. The Warrior. Take it easy. <laughs> this voice acting. <laughs> oh man, why do mobile games always have voice acting like this? A fool can never become a mage. Okay, the mage. Magic is the destination of all wisdom. Magic is the destination of all wisdoms. Saving life is my vocation. Okay, cleric. Probably the healer. I will always be by your side. She doesn't sound too bad. I'm not afraid of darkness. And the assassin. Hidden in the darkness, but bravest of all. Does his face look derpy? At, is he dead? Okay, guys, just take a moment. Look at this guy's face. He's like... This dude's like... I'm not even kidding. Holy shit. Well, you know, knowing me, naturally I'm going to go mage. Let's see, character creation. Okay. Uh, I guess super sexy green-haired elf lady. Hairstyles. Looks like, looks like there are a couple different hairstyles. This is probably the best looking one. Okay, actually, this is probably the best looking one. Uh, hair colors. Not much to choose between, but I mean, you know, it's to be expected from an anime game. A couple of different faces, eye color, and how can I choose a voice type based off of a, off of a grunt? Hey ya. Hey ya. It sounds just like sweet. I don't know. Okay. Well, I mean, I know what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> Is that, does that make me a terrible person? This voice acting. It wouldn't even, it has like auto progressing text. So like, it, it cut off the conversation before she even finished speaking. And Ow, that hurt. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Okay, well, I'll admit, the uh, the basic animations so far are really good. Like, unbelievably good. This is like, I feel like this looks probably better than Aura Kingdom or Twin Saga, games like that. This is crazy. I didn't know games could actually, like, anime games could pro look this good on mobile devices. Holy shit. I color me very impressed so far. Wow, this is really cool. Oh my god, I I am not a good uh, stump sailor. <laughs> Can I get off now? Thank you. Is now the opportune moment to be investigating my cards? Okay, looks like you know the combat is uh, it auto locks on, so it's not like action combat, but. At the same time, it doesn't look like you actually need a, a target to use it. So it's kind of action combat, kind of lock-on combat. I don't know. It seems like a weird hybrid of the two. What is with all this text? What? Okay, I'm getting these cards, but... Other than it telling me to equip them, I don't know what they do or what function they serve. So this is actually an MMO. Look at all these other players around. Okay, it looks like uh, there's auto pathing, but from what I can see, at least at this point in the game, there is no no uh, auto combat. Yep, it takes me to them, but I am forced to fight on my own. You know, that's, uh, that's, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. I'll admit, I am pleasantly surprised to see a mobile MMO that doesn't have auto combat. <laughs> and yes, I am going to utilize the uh, the auto 
pathing. Because honestly, I'm lazy. This guy's name is Drunken Hobo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't take the, I can't, the voice acting, I just can't take it seriously. Oh, here we go, auto battle mode. Attack NPCs first or attack players, so PVP is also auto, you can do auto PVP, cool, yeah, no, that's great, fantastic, I like the looks of this already. I love auto PvP, it's my favorite thing, going up against automated players, because they are real players, yeah. What the fuck? <sighs> they see me rolling, they hating. Cool, yeah, you can deal with that. Do I have to kill him? I killed that. You're welcome. Oh, sorry lady. You're uh, yeah, you're gonna die. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, right round. Oh, Audrey, you're so amazing. <laughs> so here's our skill window. Looks like I have skill points, uh, skills unlocked. Currently unlocked level 11, 40, 22, 18. And both those, I have no idea. I have no potions. Looks like blinking though heals me at least. Oh my god, why does she deal so much damage? Am I? Oh my god, what the fuck? Are you serious? What just happened? Other than me almost dying from lag. I just noticed here though, it says you get three free attempts each day. So I guess you're limited to how many times you can enter these instances, but I'm guessing you can uh, extend that limitation via spending money. Yeah. Human. How can it be a human? How can it be a human? How can I be a human? We have a settlement literally like 20 feet outside there. Tap screen colorful parts to obtain hidden treasures. Okay. Wait, what? There's so much going on right now, I have no idea. What are you, is this a hamburger? Ego Super Saiyan? What? Is this my little guy? What, this is, what the fuck? Wait, I'm creating a summoning portal and I'm going through it? Okay, this is what I love about autopathing. I don't need to know what I'm doing because it just does it all for me. All I have to do is show up and mash my attack buttons and kill shit. No, I do not want to top up on premium currency. Come home. <laughs> Squirrel. Oh. <laughs> oh god, I, I saw this and I was like, squirrel, 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 squirrel. But no, it's squire. Squire. <laughs> Oh my god, I am an idiot. I am fucking stupid. So now it's time to enter the arena. You're locked into five, uh, five matches per day. Wait, you have a time limit. Crap. I don't see them. Fuck you. Go away. Yeah! First match, victory. Oh, they're a mage too. Boom! In your face! 2-1 so far. Oh no. <laughs> what are you even gonna do? 
<laughs> oh, sucks to be you. Oh shit, she's not in my AOE. Woo! Mmm. I am doing great. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, I, like, there we go. You need to keep spending more money to keep playing. No, thank you. I'm sorry, but no. It looks like to continue with the story, it's locked behind fame. Or kingdom fame. So, wait. I unlocked auto combat. Yay. Ah, auto combat at last. Now I no longer need to really pay any attention whatsoever to the game. I made it all the way to level 18 though without uh, having to utilize auto combat. Now I can, you know, I can pull out my phone. I would just, you know, like text my waifu. She doesn't work currently. How about you auto fight her for me? Uh, go ahead. So, uh, yeah, this, this game right here. Uh, very cute, very, very pretty game. Uh, this is, this is probably the, uh, the best looking MMORPG for mobile devices that I have encountered thus far. It is beautiful, like, Aura Kingdom Twin Saga level of beautiful. It has a lot of cutscenes, a lot of story. You know, it's, it's a very cool MMO. The issue that I have with it, of course, is the... You know, the auto-play, the auto-combat that is now a very prevalent part of the game. The fact that as a mobile game, you're essentially required to pay for everything to do anything. And I hate that. Like, you can only do PvP a couple times per day and then you have to pay for it. You can only, uh... Wait, did he just kill her? Deep in my heart, she is still my Audrey. The love of my life. <laughs> oh god no this is too cringy for me oh man but yeah overall like as a mobile mmo it, it's fairly generic it's like every other mobile mmo very attractive to look at very aesthetically appealing uh the combat's pretty decent you know like you don't necessarily need to use auto combat but i just feel like it works the zones, you know, are very linear. There's no actual exploration, uh, which is unfortunate because it's a very pretty game to look at. Uh, but yeah, that, that's essentially my final thoughts on it. I only made it to like level 21 or level 22. Granted, I only played through like a couple hours, but at the end of the day, it's not something that I could really see myself playing long term because there just doesn't really seem like there's all that much that appeals to the, uh, I guess, adventurous uh side of me that likes to explore and tackle things at my own pace and my own way and uh yeah it, it's unfortunate but i'm sure we'll find an anime mmo out there that does appeal to me and that i can arguably sit there and say this actually is worth playing anyway what do you guys think have you played it have you even heard of the game let me know down in the comment section along with what game you'd like to see me play next and as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Peace.